So hello YouTube, how are you doing? So hello YouTube, how are you doing? In today's video, I am going to be taking you through my raw processing in Capture One. I am going to be showing you how I go through fixing my white balance, how I go through my highlights, everything I normally want to touch whenever I'm retouching a picture. I am going to be going through all of that so you see it and understand how I work. I hope this video would help you fix your retouching, your fixing, your you're going through the processing stage of your raw pictures. Once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. And if you're watching this from any other platform, also do well to like and share this video so that more persons can see this video. I remain GT Short It. Follow me to my system as I show you how I retouched how I process my raw pictures. Hello guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. Now on this video, I'm going to be showing you how I process my raw images in Photoshop and uh, on Capture One before taking them to Photoshop. This is my workspace and if your Capture One is not showing this way, you just come here and choose the one of your choice. I think the one I'm using is Wedding. So you can use any of them you like and you can also set it the way you like then come over here and save your workspace. So for me, I believe this particular workspace works for me and I am showing you how I shot the image. This is how I shot the image and just a little adjustment has been done. Now, the adjustment that was done was on the background. So, I will go back from the beginning. Let me just show you everything I did on the image. I've always said for your pictures to come out nice, make sure you shoot it right before taking it to post so that you don't have to stress yourself and uh, see how you can do much work trying to fix the destroyed image. So, right here I have a lot of a lot of menu so i'm going to start with this one and i'm going to use the color balance here now there's a way this works as long as you shoot you shot your image on a um on a gray background you can easily just come to your color picker here your white balance uh, eyedropper then you click it's going to give you this and it's also going to uh, remove a lot of reds from the image but that's not what I want for this image because I really think I need um, that warmness on our skin and doing it this way is going to destroy that. So these are before and these are after. So I'm going to undo that. Now, leaving that, I am going to come to my uh, white, my highlight and just reduce my highlight a little. Uh, bring back my highlight a little because I don't want that... Uh, white in there to be showing i don't want it to be too um how will i put it i don't want it to be too too much on the part where address has to be showing the inside i just want the white to be a little bit overexposed so the next thing i'm going to do is go to my contrast and uh, increase my contrast a little now these are the image was shot it seems like the image is flat somehow if we want to check the image out to we'll know that the image is very sharp but like this is looking a little bit flat so i am going to add a lot of contrast to it like around five is fine for me then i'm going to come to my curve i'm going to use my rgb curve first and just increase this then bring this down I think we can check out a before and a after. If you don't know where the before and after is, you can just use this option here. This is Capture 122. So as you can see, the image has more contrast now, but I need to bring in a little bit of black and then bring in a little bit of the shadows. So I'm going to bring this up 
I think around here is fine for me. This is the before, this is the after. You can also at this point, is either you're bringing down your black or you're bringing it up. I think around two is fine. Then my highlight around six is fine because I don't want much of it. So I'm going to come to this color balance here where I'm going to be doing much of the work. Now I want my blue to be more on, I want my uh, warmness on the shadows to be more on the blue side. So hearing what I just said will make you understand that I will have to push my slider to the blue side. So I'm going to move this, I'm going to bring this down, not much. I'm going to keep it around here. So let's check our before and our after. This is our before, these are after. I still notice that I am maintaining the color on our skin because a lot of this color on our skin lies on the mid-tone. If I start moving the mid-tone now, you see that I start touching a color. So I am going to bring this down a little, just keep it around here. So these are before, these are after, these are before and after. So I'll go back to the shadows and I will still push this down. Now you have the option to increase the amount of shadow here. You have the option to reduce it here. And also you have the option to touch the overall shadow and bring it down. This works the same way your curve works in your Photoshop. So I'm going to keep this around here. So with this, we have a before and after. So let's go back to our mid-tone and see if we can eliminate a lot of those reds. So to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep my mid-tone around here. Then for the highlight, we want this highlight to be a little bit on the blue side also. So we eliminate the warmness on the highlight. So let's say we move this around. So we just bring this back in. So with this done, you can check out the before and the after. The before and the after. The before and the after. So I believe this has helped a lot of you that are just coming up, trying to see how you can fix this. And it doesn't really mean, like, for example, now, if you look at this image right here, you notice that the, the background is warm, but the image is still looking very nice. All you have to do is just come to your, um, your sliders here, increase it, raise it up, and maybe a little tweak, bring down your wherever, and keep it like this, and you're good to go, as you can see. The image is looking very okay. Like this particular one has just a background different compared to this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is the option where I have to now move this around. Now, before that, let's go to the options of me trying to match the skin. Now, a lot of times the reason why I don't match skin is sometimes it will affect the lipstick and also affect address. So let's see. Right now we have affected the lipstick but not too much. Now I don't want to go through the process of creating layouts and then trying to fix the image using different layouts. I just want to do a minor editing here that would help anyone that is trying to use this uh, software. So you can also come to this part and try to tweak whatever you want to tweak. If I want to do anything here, I want to increase the color of our skin, like make it brighter a little. So when you're doing that, don't do it too much because when you do it too much, it looks fake. So then let's go to our red and see how we can reduce our red a little, just a little. So minus four is enough for us. So. I believe this image like this can be given to the client without retouching and the client will say, okay, the image is nice. I'm seeing all these here around here. Now there is an option for that, that I can do, but I'm going to do a separate tutorial for that because it's going to make the tutorial longer. I'm going to do a separate tutorial for that. But for now, let's copy this. Everything that we have here, we just have to copy to the next layer. Now we have the option of copying like this where we can copy a particular a particular space 
just maybe the color editor we can just copy only color editor for example i want to copy just here i'll just copy it then come to this next image then apply it so what you see is just what i did on this particular part of the image instead of seeing the whole overall copy so if you want to copy everything at once you just have to come here come to this place so i'll come here copy then i'll bring it over here and paste now you see the difference between both all i had to do was copy everything that was here and move it to the next one so let's check out that before this how the image was and this is how the image is looking now every person now they want their image their skin to look good in their picture and everything so this is it so if i want to apply same thing to every single one of the image i just have to select everything then you can use your Control shift v to paste but i'm going to be using this just for the classic you can see it here Control shift v so i'm going to paste it when i paste it you just notice that all the image have changed their color so let's check out this image here is our before here is our after now as i'm trying to fix the image i just noticed something in the color side i think i want this image to be around here yes because i like that color and the rest of the image are okay for me the, the makeup is a little bit light you can go back and uh, try to you can go back and try to reduce the overall exposure just a little but i think i will work with this let it be like this the next thing i'll do is maybe just bring down if you check the face let me zoom in a little if you check the face i will just have to when i move this slider you see i'll have to bring down my highlight a little and also my white a little then i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it here because of a face now for this particular image i will try doing the same thing which is paste if you notice the difference is not much but you're you're making a difference every single difference that you make in the image matters so for this particular one i feel like the image is too dark so i am going to bring it up the the best option to work like this is to select all the image in that range now for this second one i'm going to increase it a little sorry i'm going to click on the second one sorry i'm going to click on i'm supposed to be able to my my control button is disturbing so i'm going to copy select like this then i'm going to increase the brightness a little bring down my highlights as usual then keep it around here now i'm trying to match both of these images i'm trying to match the highlight on the skin and the brightness so the next thing i'm going to do now is to move to the next one which is the last one then also just move the slider now moving the slider now you notice that they are all almost in the same line it's just that i'm seeing too much highlight on this image so i am going to click on that particular one my mouse my keyboard is seriously disturbing so i'm just going to use my keyboard control to bring this down so this is all i would want to do for this image but before you send it to photoshop make sure you check it again now for this particular image i was trying to create a fire effect on while shooting it but the fire this particular one became too much and it was attacking the model so i had to just switch it off now this one was was producing a lot of smokes that were almost covering her face so for this i can just do a little bit of dehaze increase the brightness a little then uh, come to luma curve then increase this then bring the shadows down when i do that i get to see more of the face 
So then I can now, the more you increase this, the more you reduce the smoke effect. So I'll keep this around here. Then I think I could do some fixing around here also. So I just want, anything I do now will be affecting the fire. And for this particular tutorial, I don't want to go through the process of um, trying to, um, how would I put it, trying to fix a particular part because the tutorial will be just too long and a lot of you might not enjoy it at the end. So I'm just going to be doing it the way I know how to do it. So with this, I am ready to take my work to Photoshop. So before we do that, let's go to our before. These are before, these are after, these are before, this is our after, this is our before, this is our after, this is our before, these are after, this is our before, this is our after. I like the fact that there are greens in the background. These are before, these are after, before and after, before and after, before and after. So if this video was helpful, make sure you follow. If you're watching from YouTube, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up because once you give me a thumbs up, it enables me to want to create more better videos. It enables me to want to learn more so I can also teach you. So that will be the tutorial. Until next time, I'll say goodbye.